Megan Rose from the Philippines. Welcome to the 368th episode of Dunce Viera, a show and tell of crochet and craft related item, items. So this is, today is April 21, 2022. It's a Thursday. So first of all, I want to thank all of the members that have joined my channel to Cheda Laide, uh, Sis Crius, Sis Jazz, uh, Tita Flor, and Sis Rosario. Thank you for uh, being a member of my channel and also to Leah of Mangagawang Pinay. If you want to check them out, I will put the links on the description box below. I have binge watched this uh, show on Netflix lately called uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine and it has seven seasons to it. Uh, Nicole, my eldest niece, is the one who suggested it to me. So I was able to do that, binge watch that show. And also I was uh, able to rewatch the second season of Bridgerton. I just uh, would like to rewatch it, so I did. And also another movie that I was able to rewatch that I would deeply recommend to you guys is The Holiday. It's a really nice uh, movie. I'm finding some movies on Netflix to watch and from the holiday I found that they are recommending some movies from there like The Bachelor and The, ba the Graduate and the other one is Chariots of Fire. I think Chariots of Fire is available in YouTube. You can buy it or rent it from there. The only movies that I was able to buy from YouTube that I was really interested in one is uh, the way we were which is barbara streisand and another actor another movie that i was able to buy from youtube is called uh, miss petty guru lived in a day so those are the two but i would like to buy some other movies that i find interesting that is not available in netflix so i'm just making clips tonight so that tomorrow I can edit it and put it as a regular podcast. I usually uh, take clips every Thursday now instead of Sunday because Sunday morning there's always some background music playing. So I was able to put together the Raymond Amigurumis which are gonna be some party favors for my cousin's Apo. It's going to be held in May. So he's going to be taking this tomorrow or picking this up tomorrow. So yesterday I was able to put them together using a plastic bag and some tags that I had Nicole made me. So it's just a simple packaging of some plastic so that it wouldn't get dirty. And some very cute tags that Nicole made. So these are 30 pieces in all and I put them in this plastic bag inside this Kumu paper bag here that I got from uh, the bazaar so that he can easily transport it or pick it up. So that is one of the achievements I was able to pull this week. And then I have some other projects that I have made. I have some update with the Goku plushie, although I picked out one of the iris because Yen suggested that those irises should be close together and maybe pupil if that is what it is called. So I took off the other one which left me with this um, ends here that I needed to pick out. So. I'm gonna change the eye part of Goku, so I don't. Uh, I hope you don't mind seeing this. <laughs> but I was also able to put some ears on him and the other parts of his hair, which is sticking out at the back of the ear. So that is my update with that. I'm gonna tweak the eyes a bit so that it will be like what. Yang suggested it should look like. So that's my update with that. I hope you don't mind <laughs> seeing the picked out pupil or iris. And then I have made another another of this 
uh, bottom part or the body part of Goku. The first one came at this big. So one, I made it a little bit bigger although I'm apprehensive about the sizing still. But for this one, I was able to work on the belt along with the clothes. So it should... I should be able to put them together. I don't know. What do you guys think? It is is it the uh, the appropriate measurement or measurement? So I was able to put this together, and I'm starting to work on the bottom part, which is the shoe part and the leg part of the plushie. And then I was able to work on both arms. So now I'm in the process of putting them together just like a puzzle and I'm hoping that I can show this to you guys next time already finished so I hope you don't mind this part here I'm still to tweak it a bit I'm a bit apprehensive about picking out strands of the yarn because I don't want to damage it damage it more but I'm in the process of tweaking the face a bit so we have this challenge or kushaya long in Kumu which is called Whip Cal 40 Ube. So from before we used to make some uh, amigurumi or um, virtual gift inspired items, kushay items. So we have seen me work on the me inspired one and the joy inspired one. So these are characters in Kumu that are also virtual gifts and we have this challenge uh, every month of making one of them. So the first one is the Carlito one, the one that I wasn't able to work on since this is the first one and I just recently uh, joined the crochet lovers in the Philippines in Kumu. So the ones that I was able to make is the Ming and the Joy. And then this week we have another challenge which is to make the, the fourth one which is inspired from, and this is called Ube. I think he is, if not a Tamarau, maybe he is a Carabao, but he has these horns here. So I'm thinking that maybe he is a Tamarau, which is one of our national animals here in the philippines so he is supposed to be on the darker violet side but i don't have that available i didn't want to use this one because i'm using it for the body part of Goku. so instead i use the milk cotton yarn that i have available so this is how it turned out and i wanted him to be the same size as me as me enjoy so that i can have all of them as a collection and I'm still to make the very first one, which is Carlito. So I have this one as an entry because this is a challenge and we have some special prizes in store for the winners of it. There's gonna be two winners that are the, <laughs> excuse me, the sponsor's choice. And there are gonna be two uh, choices for the raffle. So this is my first entry. And as you can see, I used some felt cloth for the eyes. I didn't attempt it, attempt it in crochet, crochet pieces because when I attempted it in with uh, joy, it's not really successful. So I just felt more comfortable using the felt cloth for the features. Like for the eyes, this should be some glass, eyeglass. So that is how it worked out. But the first try that I did turned out a little big. So I then turned it into this, this size here. So for this one, this is going to be my second entry. And it's supposed to be some type of pin cushion. So those are the two uh, entries that I was able to enter. And I'm quite satisfied with them. So I don't know if I will be able to make uh, other types because my other... Um, my other friends, they are making some usable ones like some alcohol holder and some cell phone holders. 
I still wasn't able to push through with the tutorials that I've been trying to make or I have been planning to make like the Doraemon Amigurumi and also the bag that is inspired from a popcorn stitch like this one. So after working on some projects, I am gonna try to pull that off. So the other day, Sis Altam, which is one of my sister from Kumu, she requested from me to make one of her customers um, uh, Mickey Mouse inspired hats or beanies. So I was able to make this first one here, which looks like this, with the black and the red. It's just a simple design that I work on. But I was able to make the body part of it when she said that she would like another design to it. So she had a picture uh, that she has shown me, but it's a little bit different. She wanted it, the pictures to be embossed in a way, so I tried my best to work on the pictures of this other one. So I tried making another one with all of black for the base part. And the other pictures look like this. So, I refer to a picture for the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And the ears, if you compare it to this other one, it is bigger. And inside, I put some um, felt cloth with some plastic that you use for the face shields. So, as you can see, when I've shown this to the kids, they, all, uh, they say that it is Mickey Mouse. But I'm not quite sure <laughs> what you guys think. So that's the best way that I can interpret the the character. Once you wear it, uh, the features becomes more prominent in a way if I can say so. But yeah, that is my try with that. I was a bit apprehensive about the pieces that I made, but once I put it together. It kind of looked like Mickey Mouse. I just think that I should maybe put some red to it so that uh, you will definitely realize that it is him. Uh, this is how he came out and I'm gonna show this to Sis Altang maybe tomorrow so that I can have it shipped to the owner. So I think she's also gonna take this other one and she's asking me if I can make her some of the um, any good rumis that I have been making from the challenge. So those are most of the projects that I want to share with you guys. Some projects that I am working on on the side is this double neck stitch uh, project here that I'm going to turn into some type of top. I'm just anticipating the length of it. Chili works out quite slowly, but once it is stretched, it really has that uh, stretch to it. So I'm hoping to finish this. I'm still referring to my notes for the side bits of it because I can't quite memorize it. Um, but it's coming along quite well. I'm just using some fine cotton yarn or thread. And I'm gonna use up most of it, and I don't know if I needed to make it longer, but I'm just gonna figure it out as I go. So that is one project I'm working on the side, and I'm using this 2.25 millimeter hook here. Another project that I'm working on the side are some minion hats. So this is my third one, and I'm gonna finish this off. I may put it on my shop later. I am really meaning to list items on my shop because I'm not able to make a sale recently. <laughs> Maybe because I have deleted some most of the stuff from there. I really needed to picture or to take pictures of the items first before I list them. But now that my kuya, my brother in law, gave me the laptop that was once owned by Sophie. I think I it will be easier for me to list items since I can just put there the pictures and then I will just jot down the specifications. 
You may be hearing some trumpet or sirens in the background. Uh, we are very near a uh, basketball court. It is just in the st second street from here, so maybe you can hear some whistle and some horns sounding. So I'm gonna let you guys go now. I was already, uh, I was able to greet my members from the start. I have been meaning to uh, greet all you guys or have a shout out of some sort. So I think those are most of it. I'm gonna try to edit this tomorrow if I can. So I can have it as a premiere. I have some progress with the Koi uh, diamond painting but not that much. I was able to put some green parts for the lotus parts of it but not really that big improvement but i have been working on it on the side because i got a bit uninspired on crocheting so i wanted to do other uh, other stuff with some hobbies that i was able to make so i think those are most of it i have been rambling for a while now I'm also meaning to make a live stream using the laptop. I'm gonna try to work on that next. So I hope you guys have a fine day crafting. I'm trying to catch up with all of you putting the videos on a playlist so that I can watch it later. So that I can keep up with all of your videos. So I hope you have a fine day crafting and a family bonding time of some sort. And God bless everyone and keep safe always. Um, this is Sedi Aki of the Ganshiliara Chan. So now I'm beginning to grow my collection of Pumu virtual gift inspired items. So that's Ube, that's Ming, and that's Joy along with some other gang. Again, I'm trying to work out a name for this one. I'm leaning towards Ali. Then there's a small Hello Kitty and that is Green Velvet along with all of the cubes, <laughs> origami that I was able to make. And this is the pot where I put the rose right there. So that's my mini collection.